Hello guys and welcome back. This video is for you. Why? Because you own an old MPP solar inverter. And this video will teach you how you connect your MPP solar to your local network and see all the data on the web browser. So, first of all, sorry for my English. English is not, is not my native language. I will try my best to explain you how you can set up this device. Your inverter was made two years ago, three years ago. It's a power inverter, it's connected to your PC via cable and after that you can see on your watch power software all the data from inverter. You can see the power production, the power consumption and the battery level on, and of course you can set all the parameters in your PC. This is a rudimentary way to control your device. We are in 2020 and your device is smart. Yes? No, it's not so smart. So, this little box that we ordered in Taiwan allow you to connect your old inverter to your local network and all the data you can see in the watch power you will see now in your mobile phone. Yes, in your tablet, on the phone and even in your so, Mac. I send the mail to the to the factory and ask what is your 2020 way to connect this device to local network. And they say your device is an old device. New devices has a new app system that connect to the app and you see like other brands all the data on your phone. So for your old devices we have only one solution. What is the solution? It's to send you a Wi-Fi card and Wi-Fi box. Okay. I say, let's send it. I spend another $70 with shipping and local cost and local charge for this main board, a main box. I don't know how to say. I think it's a Wi-Fi box. It's more simple. And they send it to me. So, after you spend another $70, you receive this small box. And let's see what's inside, what we receive from Taiwan. First of all, you will receive an Wi-Fi card, Wi-Fi box, user manual. Of course, it's in English. It's only in English, but after you read it, you will say, okay, I can do it. I can do it. I can install and can make all the settings and the device will work. No, will not work because they forgot to put essential information here. This essential information make me to spend three hours, I think, to try all the settings and in finally, I set up. Okay, let's go back to the box. In the box you will find you will find the cable. This cable it's a USB I think in this side but it's put on network cable and then another side you will find a serial cable. Yes, 2020 and serial cables. Okay. Let's try. Another thing you can find in the box it's the Wi-Fi antenna. Yes, it's an antenna that will be connected to your Wi-Fi card and make possible to connect your inverter to your local network. Wow! Another wow! And the last thing you can find in the box, you will find this little guy. This little guy, I think, have 12 centimeters by 2 centimeters and 5 centimeters. It's a heavy box, it's a black box, it's a metal box, and in, in one side you can find one LED and one antenna connector. And on the back you will find the power supply and the, yes, I know, I know, the serial cable. Yes, 2020 and serial cables. But let's try. Second thing I can do, I'll put the cable here and I try to connect this network cable to my inverter. And surprise, my inverter don't have this network cable. The only cable that come out from my inverter, it's a USB cable that connect to my watch power software. What we can do? We write an email, send an email to factory and factory told us very nice. When you order this, we told you this is not for your device, it's just for test purpose. So I'm stick forever with my USB cable, my Windows PC and my remote software that can show me how much solar power I have in this moment. We take a look inside this box. We try to pull out this device and voila in fact in this little black box we find another pci card i don't know if it's pci but it looks like a pci card it's a card it's a card and how we can connect this to our inverter 
We take a look on the bottom of our inverter and what we found the black, a little black and square case. We unscrew that two, two screws, we find an exact spot so we can put this Wi-Fi card directly to our inverter. Our inverter, because it was made two years ago, also have the intelligent slot. We try to fit this inside. This fits perfectly inside the inverter. Once we connect this to the inverter, the green LED from the front start blinking. The first thing we, we notice is that this device broadcasts his own network. We connect to the, with the phone to that network and after we connect to the, to the network, wow, you connect with your phone to your inverter? This is a big step for us. After that, we, we notice that this small device has his own administration page. Yes, you can connect with your phone to this device and after that you will log in to his administration page. First time this device acts as a Wi-Fi access point. She broadcast his own network. We saw an option that allow us to set up this as a station. What station means? The station means this device will become a device that is connected to our local network, like your phone is connected to your local network. Also, this device will connect to your local network. So this belongs to your network. We find another browser and another way to put our uh, network name. We set up there our Wi-Fi name, Wi-Fi network and hit apply. Our inverter is now part of our network. This is the best thing you can do with your inverter. After that, we take again Yes, the English manner. We try to, to make all the settings step by step by inverter. You will see in the next part of the video what is that uh, steps. And after we finish these steps, our inverter was not connected to the internet. Yes, well, we was very disappointed because we spent I think four hours in order to set up this device. We read the manual two times, three times. We try to translate in our language, but no way. The problem was with a serial number because in their cloud software, because your inverter will send all the data from inverter, will upload, in fact, all the data to, to MPP cloud. And after that, the MPP cloud will show you the data once you log in with your username and the password. We follow all the steps from the manual, step by step. But how I say, the major problem was the serial number because in the manual, they told you to put the serial number, but they forgot to tell us we need to put the inverter serial number on the side on your inverter. I think in the right side you will find the white label and below that you will find the serial number. We start with 9, it's the long number. Yes, you pick up that number and put into this interface. After you do this, your inverter will communicate with uh, MPP Cloud and after that Voila, the device was connected to our network. And finally, our two years ago, I think three years old MPP Solar Inverter is now connected to our Wi-Fi network and all the data that is stored into the device, it's uploaded to their cloud. And after that, we can connect to that cloud with our phone and download all these data. We can even see real time power production, power consumption, and even the battery status. So, I will let you enjoy the rest of the video.
If you enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe and we are here for more.